Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? This is Force and today I'm going to give you a little bit of an introduction to Shadow of Mordor, the new Lord of the Rings game, the Middle Earth, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, it's a new Lord of the Rings title and uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, this is an open world game, so think along the lines of something like you can draw a lot of similarities to Assassin's Creed or even something like Far Cry in the sense that you've got this open world that you're moving throughout. You've got these towers that you go up to to reveal surrounding areas and uh, it's got a variety of uh, some interesting systems. So I'm going to give you a little bit of an introduction to that starting off with some stealth combat sneaking up behind, blowing up his face. That guy's too. This guy's not going to be stealth though. He is well aware but he is scared he is running scared let's chase him down and uh let's give him the uh the one for the, what the what do it wait what are we gonna give him we're gonna attack him and we need to uh, get just just you know what forget it forget it forget it arrows to the back couple of them shoot him in the face and then finish him off like this <laughs> uh all right, so uh, first you saw a couple of stealth kills. This game does have stealth mechanics. Essentially, at any given time, I can go into the stealth mode where I'm sneaking around, and this allows me to sneak up on these aurochs and take them out stealthily. So that guy right there. Now, if he walked right in front of me, then that'd be bad news. Now, I can go ahead and go with a little sprint mode while still being stealth, or you can go full-on sprint mode. And then there's also, like, a speed boost that you can get after mantling. So, like, I can mantle up, and then I can get a speed boost. So we're not going to stealth this time. Well, we'll get one of them like this. Oh, my God. They have, they have no idea. Okay, so I guess we'll get all of them here. I mean, I suppose if you take them out from the back ranks, that that's how it works, right? So just take just take them out one two one two three. Um, so I don't know if I just said this, but if I didn't, I just want I'd like to reiterate this is just going to be a beginner's introduction. I've only played for about an hour and a half. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what this game was about. This is not an expert review. I I've not finished the game. I've not played for more than two hours. I, like I just said, I only played for an hour and a half. So. Bare bones basic introduction uh, to this open world action game. Let's uh, let's start off by just taking a look at some. Look at that. There's a whole big bandit. All right. That's why we've done some stealth. Why don't we just go into a real big, just a big hoopla battle? So let's go into a big hoopla battle. We're gonna run up to these guys. Then we're gonna go. Oh no, you guys are. What are you doing? Oh yeah, fight, you want to fight me? You want to fight me? So this is going to be Batman style combat. Um, also again, similarities to Assassin's Creed. Uh, we've got a, a counter system. So basically I'll be fighting a guy. It's pretty straightforward. I'm just spamming the left mouse button to attack. And then whenever I see that someone is trying to hit me, uh, I can hit right mouse button and that's going to do a counter. And then they get dazed. There's all sorts of, uh, you know, there's like a level up progression system. So as time goes on, we'll get better at combat we'll have more options i've got an execute ability for example that i can do just like that so after getting a combo of eight i am allowed to uh, take someone out with an execute move which i wasn't utilizing earlier but i'll try to make sure uh, all these guys are stunned so we can take them down oh i did not realize that i was getting attacked let's parry that and is this the last that's it Oh, that's it. We won. We won that battle. Uh, so as you can see, it, it's, it follows the, uh, the the Batman style of combat where you're just spamming attacks and then you've got specialty moves. And right now, uh, really the only two specialty moves I have uh, for just baseline combat is the execute that I, that I uh, showed you. I'd like to get you a good look at that here. So we're going to fight this guy. And then once we get to uh, eight combo, which is not going to be for this guy alone. Uh, so there's eight, so then I can hit F, and that's going to do an execute. Besides that, I also have this bow and arrow, um, which it'll. I charge up. I charge up this uh, elf shot, and I do that by sort of draining people's brain. All right, what's happening here? Do you need help with something? Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome. So I can charge up my elf shot by draining Orox. So like this guy right here, I can hold down E. That's going to drain his brain, and that's going to fill up my elf shot, which then allows me to go ahead and do this again. Um, well, he's freaking running away, the son of a... Get back here, please. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get back here. Get back here. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Yep. That's... Yep. Excellent. <laughs> so those are the two things that I have right now for combat. So it's still pretty basic for me, um, you know, being so early in the game. 
it makes sense. But as time goes on, we're gonna unlock all sorts of different abilities. In fact, I can show you the skill tree in just one moment once I dispatch of this fool here. Come on. There you go. You can just do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, the slaves are helping me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. All right, let's go ahead and go up into here. And we will take a look at the upgrades. Uh, so I don't have any ability points right now. I do have some attributes that I could spend, but I'm going to save these up because I want to go a little bit further down in the tree. And this stuff costs a lot more uh, than what I have at the moment. Uh, so we're going to get ability points. You get ability points by leveling up. You can see how close I am to the next level. Next ability point at 280 XP. So just by killing uh, killing enemies in this game, we're going to get XP, level up, get ability points, and then use those ability points for things like execution. So I have the execute after getting an eight hit consecutive combo i also currently have impact which means when i counter enemies they will be knocked backwards and stunned or knocked down so prior to spending this point i would uh, counter someone but they would just get pushed back slightly but now they get uh, knocked backwards far stunned or knocked down also have the strike from above which will make an aerial take down i kill enemies instantly prior to having this it would just knock them on the ground and then i could finish them off and then we've got some wraith enhancements so there's the enhancements for the ranger and the wraith it's like a dual-sided thing uh i don't know if i want to go too much into the story but basically you're you're being possessed by a wraith and he helps you along your adventure with what we're doing. So no spoilers here. Uh, so with some Wraith abilities, I have Elven Swiftness, which will mean that after I mantle something, I can hit space again to get a little bit of a speed boost. I also have the Detonate, which allows me to shoot fire or barrels to cause them to explode. It also makes me immune to damage from fires and explosions. And then lastly, I've got Wraith Stun, which allows me to tap E, um, Stun enemies, tap, uh, tapping E, and then follow up with a flurry of strikes uh, with my left mouse button. So I've got that ability as well. I can I, I later I, I I could spend an ability point to get this to uh, mount these caragors, which are like these these dog-like creatures that you know they'll be like animals that you can fight, sort of like in Far Cry, where you would open up cages and a lion would attack or something, whatever it was. Uh, well, you could now ride that. As just as an example, um, the game has a whole bunch of collectibles and different things in the environment, like these little herbs over here. I can go over to replenish my health. So if you notice in the lower left, I only have a little bit of health left, or I only have a little bit of health lost. I can go like this. It's going to replenish my health up to full. Uh, we've got a guy. I think he's up here, or is he down over here? I think he's actually down low. Should be right here. No, I was wrong. All right, so he's up here. So what are we going to do? How do we get to him? Do we have to go up some special stairs? No. Uh, you can climb a lot of stuff in this environment. A lot of stuff is uh, mantleable. Man mantleable? Able to be mantled? <laughs> I mean, a lot of stuff. Pretty much most... It, it's it's usually... It's pretty obvious, you know? It's been, it's been pretty obvious. Anything that looks like a relatively flat surface, you're able to basically climb up. I wanted to go over here first, though. We can get this archer. And then we'll go take down that other guy. So we're going to... Jump on him. Okay. Oh, no. That's... I ran. Okay. Let's go back over here. <laughs> oh, no. He's going to see me. I don't want to get too close to him. All right. So then we're going to go this way. Climb up. So I'm holding down shift while I'm doing this. So I'm not going as fast as I normally could, but it makes me stealthy. So I don't have to worry about being... Uh, so being detected so i can uh, this is a, a strange example because it's really close but you can attract someone who's relatively far away to your location and then once they get close enough which he is not yet apparently you can execute them there we go camera did all sorts of weird things there <laughs> uh and let's go ahead and run across here and then we're gonna jump like that there we go and then i'm gonna go back in a stealth mode and we can drop down with e and then go up. Is he not here? Is he down low? Are you fucking serious? Where is this? Where's the? They're built down here. All of them. There's three of them. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, stealth attack. They're trying to take some slaves somewhere, so we don't want them to do that. There we go. And let's fight these guys here. Oh, apparently I hit some of the slaves. That's not very nice. So we're going to get a few attacks on this guy. And then we can execute. Oh, oh looks like I lost it, actually, because I lost my combo. So gonna take that guy out, block that, and then he's on the ground, and we can finish him off when he. Oh no, he got back up. Okay. Anything else? There's one more guy somewhere. He's up top, I think, this time. Is I'm not having a good time of finding these dudes. Oh, he's a super up high now. All right, let's go up this way. 
But notice how uh, pretty easily I'm moving sort of from one location to another. Pretty fantastic. Uh, what about those arrows, Force? Those arrows will recharge my elven arrow ability. So let me show you this here. I'm going to climb up this way. And where is that particular arrow? Is it? It's not over here. Maybe it's. Maybe it was down low. Oh, there is one. Okay. All right. So I can go like this. And I'm gonna jump down. Okay. So um, this basically, I can use this to fill up my elven arrow. So if I, for example, was, was running out, so I can let me attack this guy. Let me use up some of my arrows. Uh, Okay, so I'm all out of arrows. Oh no, all out of arrows, we can grab this. So that fills up my elven arrows. It's gonna give me more arrows to shoot those guys. And those things are located all throughout the environment. All right, drop down. Drop down, please. Drop down. This is the, this is the guy I shot, he, he doesn't know. He's like, where'd those arrows come from, huh? <laughs> he has no idea. All right, I'll wait till he turns around and we're gonna sneak up on him. I, I'm really digging the stealth part of this stuff. I really, I've been focusing a ton on the stealth. I've been focusing a ton on the stealth. So a bunch of collectibles all throughout the environment. Uh, we're right next to some intel that's up over here. So I could grab that real quick. And uh, that's going to allow me to show you briefly some stuff for the nemesis system. So this guy has intel. So what we're going to do is we are going to... We killed him. We didn't want to, we, I didn't want to kill him. I, want, I wanted to take it. You can interrogate. Uh, what I wanted to do, what I should have done was interrogate him, but I, I killed him by mistake. I'm sorry. <laughs> but basically, you can either find intel in the environment or on Oryx, and then you can interrogate the Oryx or just interact with the intel in the environment, and that's going to give you information about the uh, various captains of Sauron's army and these basically give you like kill order quests where you're gonna you're gonna find you're gonna get information on a captain you're gonna learn about his strengths and his weaknesses and then you're going to go and engage with him and you're gonna you're gonna fight him take him out uh, it's a pretty neat system I haven't dove much into it though so I'm I, I, there's probably some big part of this that I'm missing or I haven't mentioned I've only fought one of them and I just went up and killed him. And he's got like a, a power level. And I believe if you kill things with a power level, it gives you some sort of a currency for upgrades. There's also specific guys for uh, missions. I'm still learning it. Again, this is just a basic introduction because I am still learning the game. After I spend a little bit more time, I can go into a bit more detail. Uh, but yeah, you can get intel to, to learn about these different captains to unlock new ones, which will basically, I guess, sort of give you like new ex execute missions to go out and complete. Um, but we haven't looked at much of anything because we've just been in this little area. So I'm going to bring up this map. It's my understanding that this is just the beginner like tutorial zone. And later on, we're going to go to another area. But this is the area. It's broken off into different pieces. And, and you can see we've got these little tower locations here. And these work, again, like sort of the Assassin's Creed or the Far Cry towers do in that you can... So I can fast travel to this. So if I mouse over it and go like this, then we can fast travel to that. And then I'm gonna actually run to another nearby tower just to show it to you. Okay, so we're at this tower. And what I, where I want to go is to the nearest tower, which is right here. So I'm gonna mark it on my map. And it's not that far away. And then we can jump down. And while we jump down, we're in Wraith form. So that's how they sort of explain away landing and not killing yourself. Although story, well, no, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna spoil the story at all for you guys. So I'm not gonna get into that. Uh, but it's it's I, I am I'm pleasantly surprised that this is an open world game because I was not really like it's an open world Middle Earth game. I'm really looking forward to diving more into this stuff. I really really am. Uh, a ton of collectibles all over the place. If you notice on the mini map, you see those two little green herb things that are nearby me. Uh, oh, there's a guy. Uh, there's someone with intel over here. Okay, so let's see if I can let's see if I can actually do it this time and not kill him. <laughs> I want to get some intel without killing him. That's what I like to do. So it does seem like you can just sort of play your way in terms of whether or not you want to be stealthy and taking people out from the shadows, or if you just want to go into these big groups, guns blazing and counterattack everything and do all that fun stuff. It really seems like you can just sort of do what you want, uh, especially again as time goes on and you unlock new abilities you're going to get all sorts of different things let's see the ability to deal lethal finisher on the last chance struggle uh, double hit streak gains on well-timed attacks so you get double hit streak 
uh, with good attacks. A poison grog. Po press left control to poison grog barrels. Okay. So you can poison grog barrels and then I guess they'll drink it and die. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what I expected. Throwing daggers. Um, so yeah, all sorts of different things, which as time goes on, I'll learn more. Vaulting over an enemy, tapping space bar will now leave an enemy stunned. Some pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. All right, let's see if we can get intel. There's intel in two locations. Uh, so I'm gonna try to find the intel and actually extract it. It's just an interrogation process where I basically take over their brain. All right. So here is a guy and he has intel. They're chasing. Let's see if we can Okay, so I can grab him like this, and then when I grab him, I can hit space bar, and that's going to interrogate him. Boom. So now he's like, oh, no, 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 and I could choose to, look at him, he's terrified of me, he's terrified of me. So we're going to hit space bar, uh, that's going to bring us into intel mode. So now I select a target to learn more information. So we've got all these other captains, I can just hit this guy, there we go, new intel learned. So he's a power level 5 dude, uh, he... He's got these various weaknesses and strengths. Vulnerable to combat finishers, vulnerable to stealth finishers. He's clumsy, which means it can be grabbed without requiring low health. Uh, he's also got a fear of the Karagors, which are those those minions. So if there's one of them in like a cage around where he is, I could free it, and that's going to cause this guy to run away in fear. However, he has some strengths. Initiative, tries to be the first to strike in combat. Bloodthirsty, recovers health from striking enemies. So he's got, uh, yeah, so there you go. Those are strengths and weaknesses. And you can see now it gives me a new target location. So like he's, yeah, so there you go. And, and you can just keep doing that. You can keep getting intel on new captains, and you go in, you eliminate them. And again, I believe that taking out captains gives you some sort of currency or progression that'll, that allows you to sort of level yourself up. Uh, but, you know, don't quote me on it because I am still pretty new to this. Um, in addition to... All right, well, let's go to the tower. That's what I wanted to do. So let's go to the tower just so I can show you that. Where the heck is it? It's over here. It's not far away. We're going to run, and we're also going to make sure that we do some mantling on the way so we can get that little speed boost. So if I go like this, and then when I drop down, when I drop down, if I hit spacebar, I get a little speed boost here. So we're just going to run by all these dudes, whatever. So again, this is, like, I can't mantle this stuff. Like, these rocks, you know. It's, it's just, it's always, it's pretty obvious. It's basically, if it's a relatively flat surface, you are able to mantle it. So I can mantle the side of this. And I wonder, one thing I don't know is if I can jump up here. I wonder if I can get to the top of this thing. I think I, I, I have been on top of these. Maybe it's just a matter of how I can get up there. But yeah, I can get up to the top of this this way. See? And uh, as you're walking around, you'll hear conversations, be it from the Orox or slaves in the nearby area. Just sort of talking about recent events that have taken place or sort of giving you some information about the world. So there's just some storytelling that takes place in... NPC chatter uh, in your vicinity. It's pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna go up here and we are climbing the tower now. So these are ancient towers that are from the Wraith's time. The Wraith is this elven dude um, who is like, again, he's part of you. And then we interact with it and just like Assassin's Creed, just like Far Cry, it gives you information about the surrounding area. So, so since we have interacted with this, we have got information about side quest in the area collectibles um yeah side quest and collectibles i guess that's basically that's what you get you get information about side quest and collectibles in the area and the side quests are going to be any of these quests that are marked in black and white uh, so these things over here these are all side quests uh, main story quests are going to be in yellow in fact i can just show you the legend so we've got main story quest uh, we've got showdowns power struggles and vendetta missions all of this uh, it gives you power rating i think is what it is okay so we can hit m and again now we can see all of this stuff in the surrounding area all those in all that information that we didn't have immediately available so i do believe uh, yeah this is what it is so when you i believe when you k kill the captains or you do uh, do the things that give you power rating, which are those red quests in the legend that I showed you. It's going to give you the tier. It's going to give you that to unlock this tier, next tier. Right? So you need to collect these P and XP. So power rating and experience. These are these two different progression tiers for you. In fact, we've got one ability point, so we could we can unlock this now. 
All right, so I've got this enti entire first row now. And then I think the way it works is that it, in order to unlock this second tier, I need to progress this. That's how I believe it works, but once more. I ain't no expert, at least not yet. I, I will come back with a follow-up video at some point for you guys that will be a little bit more, see? So complete this, that, or that, and unlock new ability tiers. So there you go, that's exactly what it is. You complete, I complete those things and it's gonna unlock new ability tiers. All right, so we get some guys over here. Oh, there's a bunch of guys over here. All right, you guys want me to get in a big fight? Of course you do, let's get in a big fight here. Let's get in a big Batman style fight. We'll start off just by taking out one. Oh, you know what? I, I could probably take out all of them if I took them out one from behind, one at a time from behind. So we're gonna go straight into it and we're just going to use our executes whenever we get another eight times multiplier. We're gonna counter what we can. It should be everything, hopefully. And then I can use my Wraith abilities as well. Oh, I didn't get that. I'm an idiot. So I can try to... Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. So you take damage in combat. Right now, I don't have any way to regenerate health while in combat. But interacting with the herbs in the environment are how I replenish health. So it's just got, it's just going to be about making sure that you hit those counterattacks. And I just need to make sure I'm paying attention in order to do that. Because it's really not hard. As long as you're paying even just a little bit of attention. Nice. And then what I can do is I can counter this guy. I can get a couple hits. And hopefully we get a, another combo multiplier because I want to do an execute. And then we're going to go after the execute. Let's go with some of the bows. Well, that guy's got intel, so I don't want to kill him quite yet. So we get that slow time so long as we... We have to drain an enemy if we want more. So I can go like this. <laughs> but I can't do it where there's other guys around me. So if I want to keep that guy alive for intel, I, I want to keep him alive. I don't want to kill him. So let's try to make sure we can do that. So I'll just try to knock him down, but not kill him. Oh, I killed him. Well, I suppose it's better than almost dying. <laughs> but if I was better, I would be able to engage with him without actually murdering his face. And there's a little side quest over here, so uh, well, let's go ahead and replenish our health. Go ahead and walk up to this. Fantastic. Get our health back out there. Oh, that's, that's a bit of a relief. And there's a side quest over here, so you can jump in and do a side quest. Uh, this side quest over here, let's see what it'll do. So if I hit left control, the Wraith. He hid amongst the Dark Lord soldiers, silently killing them one by one. He would not rest until they fled the camp in terror. Okay, so why don't we accept this? Why don't we do this side quest? Let's see what happens. Okay. So stealth kill Aurochs without being detected, and the bonus is to kill Aurochs with a strike from above. Okay. So this side quest requires me to go and do a bunch of stealth kills. I really like that, because that's how I like playing the game in general. So let's see if we can do that. So there's a bunch of guys there, so I don't know that I want to engage that large group. That doesn't sound like something that is going to let me, because I need to do all this without being detected, ideally. So we got a guy over here. I, I can hit V. It's going to show you nearby collectibles, but it will also show you nearby enemies. There's a fire. There's some explosives. So, like, I can shoot those explosives, but that's not going to let me be stealth either. Alright, when you're in bushes, you're stealth, which is good. You know what I can do? Let me go back up here, and then I'm just going to go with the, my distraction techniques to get them to come over. And then we can just finish them off stealthy. So, you highlight a guy just by sort of mousing over them, or, you know, the best you can. And then we hit G. And then he's going to be like, hey, whoa, 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 what's up? And I can use that as an opportunity to go walk away and try to go, like, around someone. Or I could just let him come and get the stealth kill. Oh, I was spotted. So, that failed. <laughs> so we have to abandon mission. Now, what I wonder is if I can re-pick it up. It looks like I can. So let's try to re-pick it up. Except... Okay, excellent. All right, so you fail a mission, no big deal. You can just redo it. Uh, and I guess that's gonna do it for this video. Again, 
guys, I just wanted to give you a brief introduction to what this game is. I'm having a good time so far. This is pretty cool. Uh, I'll be very interested to see how it holds up in the long run, but to have an open world, and, and that's a funny thing about this example video, is we but scratched the surface of showing you anything even resembling open world, really, because uh, we've only been into a, a select couple of locations, but it's a open world, high fantasy Lord of the Ring game, and the, the combat's Batman, so if you like Batman combat, then that works. If you don't, then it's it's probably not going to work for you, right? But if you do like Batman Combat, then yeah, Batman Combat in an open world, sure. I'm 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 digging that. I'm digging it. I'm digging it so far. I'll uh, follow up with some more videos, guys, as I get further into the game. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. Let me just try to. I really damn it. I took too long to get over here. But that guy's going around. So I think we can do this. Yeah, there's one. And I need to kill a few of them with death from above because uh, I want that bonus objective for sure. No doubt I want that bonus objective. All right, that's two. No, shit. No, man, fail. 